Let's talk about this all new Model 3 because it is becoming increasingly clear that it is literally coming at any moment and we even have more info to suggest this car is coming really soon. Just last week, Tesla shut down production at their Fremont facility for a few days, which many believe was due to the fact that they were upgrading the Model 3 line to accommodate the all new refresh Model 3 that should be rolling off the production line basically any day now. Next up today, Tesla's project Highland Model 3 is back out testing, and now we have a couple things to note. First, Tesla's Fremont factory is currently shut down, but may already be ramping back up after some factory upgrades. Quote, after only a few days of downtime, it appears as though the factory has already resumed production, at least partially. In another drone flyover on Thursday, the logistics lot had been reopened with dozens of newly built cars packing the lot and several car carriers being loaded up. Reportedly, it was only paused for two days, so some are speculating that another shutdown of the Model 3 line may occur separately to switch over to Project Highland. The first sighting was out near Palo Alto and shows a covered up Model 3 in the same areas as all other sightings. In this photo though, we can see that Tesla is clearly tinting and hiding a lot, and that there's a full interior cover that's preventing anyone from seeing what could be an updated dash. Many seem to be hoping that this car adds a hatchback, but I think it's very clear that this is the exact same Model 3 shape. From the Outside, it's only going to be changing in the areas that they are obviously covering up in each test mule. Timeline is very unclear for this refresh. We thought that the factory shutdown would absolutely coincide with the Highland upgrades, but at this point, with only a two day shutdown, it's coming into question. It also seems Tesla may have more testing to be done on multiple models before proceeding with actual production. Today, there has been an influx of rumors out of China on the status of Project Highland. These are all rumors from social media, so we have to take them for what it's worth, but each of these accounts at various points in time has had some sort of inside or early information. Not 100% perfect track records, but enough that it's definitely worth paying attention to, and all of the rumors actually have a little bit of different information, so it doesn't seem like they're all just repeating each other from one rumor. Now, when we have multiple rumors like this come out at the same time, although they all kind of fit together, it could be a situation where Tesla's trying to uncover some leaks or something like that. So that's worth keeping in mind as well. That being said, let's look at some of this information. So first is from Wuwa on X saying that, quote, according to online rumors, communication from suspected Tesla staff indicates that the current domestically produced Tesla Model 3 will be discontinued on August 14th. It is reported that the new Tesla Model 3 will officially be put into production in the third quarter, end quote. All right, so that's the first rumor. And then we have one that is very similar from Chris Jong on Twitter saying that, quote, Giga Shanghai started production switchover starting this week to produce two days of current Model 3, two days of Highland production, alternate operation, and completely switch to Highland production two weeks later, end quote. So this one is a little bit more specific in terms of what's exactly going on with production. The timelines are very slightly different, but close enough that I think they kind of match up. But it does sound a little bit strange that Tesla would do two days of current Model 3 production or, you know, what's going to be the old Model 3 and then the new Model 3 on two other days. I'm sure there are reasons that that could make sense and maybe Tesla learned a little bit from the Model S and X refresh where they kind of just took it down and didn't really produce much for uh, probably a quarter or so. So maybe they figure, hey, we can only really do two days of Highland production. We might as well on those other days produce Model 3. There are a ton of factors to consider to determine which of those plans nets out better economically. So it seems a bit odd, but I suppose there's a scenario where something like that could make sense. All right, the third rumor is from Tesla Shanghai. You may remember this account because it used to share insight ahead of the publishing of domestic sales in China, which was generally on, not always, but generally on. They seem to lose their source for that at some point, so it doesn't mean much for this, but nevertheless, the rumor from them is that one, trial production has already begun, mass deliveries will start in September ahead of initial expectations. I don't know if that refers to Tesla's expectations or more broadly. My guess is Tesla's because I think more broadly it was probably assumed to be a little bit earlier, at least in China. Number two, the project is highly confidential and as soon as a trial vehicle is produced it will be concealed. No surprise on that one. Number three, the new car has a more impressive design with taillights similar to a Porsche Macan and an overall feel similar to Model S. And four, the most exciting part is that based on the new project's component costs, the price of the new car is expected to be around 200,000 RMB. Prices are often kept confidential, but some speculation is possible. So the last part there definitely sounds like speculation. Around 200,000 would be around 28,000 US dollars. However, it's only one significant digit, so like we have talked about, you could say Tesla's current price of 232,000 RMB on the Model 3 is around 200,000. 
So I would definitely keep expectations in check on that one. The 2024 Highland Model 3, the Tesla design has taken a pretty distinct turn. So judging from this leaked photo of a Highland Model 3, we can see that the soft curving, rounded, almost mustache-like line in the front bumper has been replaced by one crisp seam that runs all the way from left to right of the bumper. And in line with that more linear simplified bumper, we can also see that the headlight has been compressed down into a smaller, flatter kind of design. It doesn't curve up to the outside anymore, it just cuts straight across from the top in line with that seam in the bumper. Moving around to the back, we've got the indication that there is an entirely new taillight design coming to the Model 3 Highland. So a lot of our information comes from these test vehicles that Tesla has been driving around near their design headquarters in California. They add these protective covers to the body of the vehicle that conceals any exterior design changes while they are road testing the car. In one instance, some of the cover on the rear end of the vehicle came loose and revealed a bit of the new Model 3 taillight, and no surprise, the minimalist design from the front is continued on the rear. The big change here is Tesla moving from a horizontally laid out taillight fixture where the light array stretches wide from left to right. They're now compressing that into a narrow vertical arrangement on the outside edge of the vehicle and then only a thin linear slit of amber light that extends in towards the center. This was illustrated very clearly in a rendering by the Cybertruck 420 on Twitter, so credit to them for the image. So these two leaks or preview images of the Model 3 Highland from the front and back show us that Tesla is doing away with the rounded, swooping curves that have defined their vehicle aesthetic and moving towards a more compact, linear design language. The new Model 3 also seems to have a more pronounced rear diffuser along top of the trunk lid, similar to a spoiler, just with a much lower profile. This looks more in line with the Model S and is probably geared towards improved aerodynamic performance. Again, we can imagine that the primary reason for this goes back to simplifying the manufacturing process. Smaller headlights and taillights mean fewer parts, lower cost, and faster production. That's what it's all about right now for Tesla.